सो बाय नाउ वी हैव लर्नड एनफ थ्योरी टू गेट स्टार्टेड विद लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन सो नॉट गोइंग टू मच इनटू थ्योरी पार्ट नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू परफॉर्मिंग लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन एंड हियर इज द मिनी टैब सेशन व्हिच आई हैव हियर एंड दिस डेटा सेट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन वी लुकड एट कॉलम सी टेन एंड सी इलेवन and we performed the logistic regression using c10 and c11 because there are just six entries here so now let's take the next step and use these two columns c1 and c2 and here we have slightly more number of data points so here we have information from 28 people their annual income and whether they have american express card or not let's use this data set and perform logistic regression so what i will do here is i will go to stat i will go to regression and in regression the first thing i will do is i will go for binary fitted line plot and in this my response is in c2 which is american express and my predictor is in c1 which is here and the frequency portion is optional so what is frequency frequency is basically when you have data set where you have frequency column as well so let's say the first person who has 70000 annual salary and doesn't have american express card so let's say if you find five such people then you would put frequency as 5 but we don't have frequency here and i'm sure in many cases you will not have frequency in the data so this is optional so let's leave that and let's leave everything else and let's plot the fitted line plot so this is our fitted line plot so let me enlarge this and in this fitted line plot these are the people who have the card and at the bottom these are the people who do not have the card these are their annual income this one is person with 70000 dollars income and not having american express card so this is basically data point number 1 and so on and this is the curve which has been fitted this is based on the logit function which we have talked earlier so logit is basically the natural log of odds and we will talk about this as we go further and on the top you see this equation which is probability is equal to exponential of this particular line divided by 1 plus exponential of that line we have briefly talked about that as well earlier because this is the outcome which comes from the logistic regression so outcome is in this form where the probability is equal to exponential of y divided by 1 plus exponential of y so this is the fitted line plot now let's do another thing let's go to stat and let's go to regression and in regression let's do binary logistic regression and fit the binary logistic model here and in this my response is in c2 and my frequency i don't have frequency here and my continuous predictor is annual income so with this if i press okay i get this result so there is a lot of information and we will go through each of these one by one step by step but we are getting lot of information the only thing which we can understand at this time that the link function which is being used is the logit function because that is the function which is used in logistic regression and there are 28 number of rows we have seen that in the data and in that the value of 1 and 0 there are 14 people who have the card and 14 people who do not have the card and our base event is person having the card that's what we are looking at we are looking at the probability that the person has the card not the probability of person not having the card so our base event is 1 which is having the card and this is the regression equation which came out of this analysis where the probability is equal to exponential y divided by 1 plus exponential y and y is given by this straight line so now using this equation if i have the annual income i can find out the probability i can do the calculation even using the calculator or using mini tab so we will talk about that and then there are a lot of coefficients the p value the vif value and then we have odds ratio and then we have r square aic bic area under roc curve and we have p values for goodness of fit and we have p value for analysis of variance 
we will go through each of these one by one. But for now, we have used the mini tab to perform logistic regression. So if I look at my slides, so which are here, so this is the plot which we have plotted and these are the outputs of the regression. And we will go through each of these results as we proceed into this course.